Hi, my name is James Emerling. I am a science education consultant for Oakland Schools in Michigan and an Open Sciad field test facilitator. Um, I want to share with you a few updates that uh, Mary Starr and I made to help facilitate the storyline development uh, with the Open Sciad units in a remote setting. So in this do it through the example of unit 8.6, but the same thing can be used in any um, open Syed unit. And so uh, we built our initial timeline, or uh, excuse me, our initial model. In this case here, it's a, it's a timeline model. And, uh, and then we built it and added it into our um, Jamboard. And uh, following that, we went on and <clears throat> made our driving question board, just as you normally would. And uh, teachers posted these in all kinds of different colors and whatnot. And then following that, we built our ideas for future investigations and data with that we needed. Then um, using Google Docs, uh, we prepared this template uh, for teachers to use to, to, to begin to fill in the storyline. So just like we do in face-to-face -face PL, we assigned uh, pairs of teachers uh, two lessons uh, to take a look at together and to begin to fill out this um, storyline for us. Now, I want to note one thing, I do realize that the colors are slightly different than the way that we normally do it with our sticky notes in the live PL. In this case here, I did it this way because green, I believe, is a place to start, right? Go. And then blue uh, identifies what we did, and so that would be our practices. Orange identifies uh, what we figured out, and so that's more like our DCIs, and so that's why I colored that orange. And then finally, navigation is that point where you sort of, do I stop, do I go, you know, should I wait and hold up for more students? So that's our navigation, right? And so that's yellow, just like a yellow stoplight. So anyway, that's why, um, that's why I changed the color coding. But at any rate, you can fix it if you want. Anyway, uh, following that, this is what a completed storyline looked like then after the teachers had filled it out. And then after we did this and they went through and explained, uh, we did just like we do in our PL then. And so teachers came back and uh, took a look at the driving questions that they had asked, uh, went through and uh, denoted each one of the questions with which uh, lesson it was uh, answered in or, or at least addressed somewhat in. Uh, and so notice that this one here, why was Pedro so big compared to today's penguins? That's uh, sort of addressed in lesson five. Okay, and then we went through and we color coded them. So everything that was really um, talked about in the unit, uh, teachers went back and color coded them green. And so that's why all of our questions here are green, other than this one yellow one that we never really addressed. And then the same can also be done with our future investigations and data that we need. And so doing it this way really um, helps to make it quite a bit more like the experience that we had in a face-to-face -face setting. Hopefully this helps. Let me know if it does and uh, I'll keep uh, producing these, these types of um, uh, tools for you.